Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to continuation of modeling Petra from the Netflix series, Shira. In the previous tutorials, we have modeled her body, we've modeled her head, and she's basically ready to rock and roll. So now let's start adding those essential details that make Katra look like Katra, which includes the headpiece, her hair, and so on and so forth. If you are new to the channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Tutorials include Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software, and let's go ahead and get started in modeling the accessories that make Katra, Katra. All right, so I wanted to create the headpiece. And what I'm going to be using is called Quad Draw. So you can find Quad Draw over here to the right in the modeling toolkit right here. And what I'm going to do is select this mesh and click on the magnet. This is going to make it live. So whenever I'm ready to start modeling, it will basically attach it to the head. Let me show you what I mean. So right now you'll notice that I have object X symmetry active, and you can also see that I have a live surface active as well. And then here at the bottom, we have something called quad draw. So quad draw is actually really neat because it creates geometry for us. So for example, when I click the geometry, you're going to notice that I get a point. If I click form points and hold down shift, I'm going to get a piece of geometry. And the cool thing is, is that it's attached to the head. So I'm going to be using these and I'm undoing right now. I'm going to use these points to kind of build her headpiece. So I'm going to start off at the middle, which basically follows her head. And then as we go along, I'm going to have to, you know, do actual some modeling so that it sticks out of the head. But in general, this is going to be a, a pretty good start. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the drawing's just a tiny little bit off, so I'm just gonna follow my symmetry. And I click on one, two, three, four. And by the way, this is how you can retopologize something. So if you're interested in retopologizing a face, a body, or even adding clothes, you can use the exact same method. So, I'm hold, so just click on two more points, hold down shift, and there you go. I'm going to move to the right. So just make sure you give yourself points so you can hold down shift and click here and click here. And I'm starting to get the shape of the object. Now, what's great is that I can move these. So if you want to click and drag, these are basically vertices that I can just kind of move around. So if I want to spread them out a little bit more, you are you can. Now, what's neat is that I've shown you Quadra to to uh, do um, relax. So if I hold on shift, it will help me relax my object and the geometry looks a little bit cleaner. Now, if you want more tools down here at the bottom, we have keyboard mouse shortcuts. If you open that up, you can see that there's a variety of commands that you can use on Quadra. So for example, if I want to hold down control, I can give myself more edges, things like that. So definitely explore this if you'd like to see all the amazing things that you can do. Let's continue building this. So I need about a few points here. Hold down shift, whoops, shift, shift. And this is really nice because it gives me complete control over my mesh. Now I want to make sure I'm following an all view. So let me go over here and I'm going to choose my panels, my layouts, three panels split. There we go. And I want this to be the top. So panels, orthographic view front, and then this is the side. All right, let's go ahead and continue. you can see that the drawing is not exactly perfect, but that's okay. We're just going to continue going through here and just giving yourself four points in a shift, shift, shift. Now, the next question you want to ask yourself is where is this going to start sticking out? So what I'm going to do is just make sure that we're going to continue down the crown, which basically follows, but then I'm going to be extruding outward. So that's going to be my master plan here. And I think I have enough geometry to just kind of bring this down. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a couple more points. Push this in if you have to, maybe get closer, add that point, and then you just got to get that perfect angle. So again, the drawing's not perfect and that's okay, um, but it will give me enough information to be able to make informed decisions. So again, just clicking, clicking, and then getting your points.
So you can see that even though I followed the drawing on the left, when I'm looking at the front view, I really don't get to see the effect. So that means that I'm going to have to, again, make some artistic decisions. So for example, I'm going to be dragging, oh, I just grab, I just want to grab vertices and kind of drag them forward so that I can use them on my character or use them for the, for the headpiece. So these are more forward. Now, again, it's going to unfortunately not work out when it comes to the front, but it is going to look more accurate if we have this outline around her head. So let me grab this one and just kind of move it forward. Make sure to take everything along with it. So I'm looking at my drawing over here and eventually I'll be able to grab them from the front, but right now I can't. So I'm just gonna keep pushing these until I get the shape that I want. All right, I'm gonna bring this in. Like that. Bring this in as well so the geometry is looking a little bit more organic and I'm liking the shape of that and again I'm going to hold down shift just to kind of relax it push the edges in if I need to and that's looking all right all right so I'm going to get out of quadra by clicking here and go to the object mode because you'll notice that we now have a new piece of geometry called poly surface one Let's get out of live. And what I'm going to do is just take this, center the pivot, and just kind of scoot it out a little bit. And maybe even scale it a little bit, just because I want to make sure it's actually sticking out of her head. All right, it's a good place to start. Let's go ahead and just model this a little bit more. So, for example, I know that this is more sticking out, according to the drawing. Because her hair, it's more like a headband. So let me double check. So I just want to make sure I'm pulling this out a little bit. And I might actually finish that headband. So let me just stick it out a little bit more. And again, I'm just making artistic choices. It may not be exactly like the drawing, but I also want to make sure that it looks correct in, let's say the front view, or if you look at her in the side. So theoretically that sticks out. So it looks pretty thick. It is thick, but it doesn't match the drawing. So I think I want this look way more than, well, actually I might have to bring these in. All right, let me bring this in. Whoop. And might as well grab these. Bring this in as well. All right. Uh, maybe grab these one more time just to make sure it's actually sticking out. And then again, I can make alterations as I continue working on this model. All right, let's make the little spikes, which basically is the cat ears. So I'm going to go over here and just going to bring this down. And I might move this in just a little bit. And you can see that this is against her head. So just like I did earlier, you can see that it's not following her head. So let's grab these vertices and just kind of push them forward and push this forward. You can see that the drawing doesn't match, you know. It's like, we know it doesn't match anymore, but that's okay. Um, All right, cool. Let's grab an edge. We're going to be grabbing this one, this one, whoops, not that one, this one and this one. Extrude, control E. Press W for world space. I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to just scale it. I'm going to do one more extrude, lift, and scale it. Maybe scale it some more. All right, let me shape it a little bit because it should have a little bit of a rounded corners. And let me go back to object mode. I just want to make sure these edges are a little bit more rounded. Yeah, 
And I'm going to grab this and just kind of lift this up. And then this one could be over here. So again, what I'm trying to do is just kind of round things out so it doesn't look like a stair step. Um, might be a good opportunity to try quadra again, but this time with relax. So quadra, hold down shift and just kind of relax it. So that's going to help relax the shape a little bit. Going to get out of that tool by pressing W. Quadra is like a, like every tool here, move scale is considered a tool. So if I'm in Quadra and I press W, which is the move tool, it actually snaps it out of it. All right, let me bring this out a little bit too. All right, let's press the number three and see what that looks like. And now we have her helmet. Now the top still, it's not sharp enough at the top. So let's go ahead and fix that a little bit. I'm going to grab this and just kind of pick one up. There we go. Cool. All right. Now I am one of those people that like to have some sort of thickness. So let's go ahead and grab this control E and just push this inward. Uh, if you want world space, you can always press W and just push this back. And there we go. A little bit of thickness. So if I press the number three, we have a little bit of a beveled edge. I could probably push it in a little bit more, but that should give me enough. And then I can figure out if I want to put a hole or fill hole or do something so that her help or her, um, what is this, a mask? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a mask or if it's like a headband. Maybe it's keeping her hair away from her face. I can figure it out once I add her hair and stuff like that. So that is how you can create her. I'm going to call it a headband. Headband Geo. All right, let's take a look at the design. And you'll notice that mine's a little soft over here. And she's actually has a little bit more spikes. So, and to get that nice sharp edge, I mean, we could add more edges, but I also have a, I can also use the geometry that I can currently have. So for example, I can use this and just kind of push this forward. And then I can grab these vertices and just kind of bring that one a little closer. And same thing for any of these vertices, I can go ahead and just kind of bring them closer together so that they create like a nice little a nice little edge. And without increasing my geometry, which is always really nice. All right, let me bring this one forward. And this one needs to go forward too. I just wanna make sure that is not completely on her head, that it actually gives you a little bit of space. All right, that looks a lot better. Let's delete the history, freeze the transformations, and then center that pivot. So again, it doesn't match the drawing perfectly, but it matches it to the point where it is recognizable if you looked at her like this. All right, let me double click here because I feel like I need more bevel. So I'm just double clicking through the whole edge. along here, just because I feel like I need to preserve that edge a little bit more. I want it to be nice and clean. All right, let's do a control B. And that looks pretty good to me. Double click here, and I'm just gonna scale it in a little bit more. All right. Let's do the cat ears next. So I'm gonna use quad draw again. Let's make this live by clicking on this magnet. Let's grab quad draw. And you know, cat ears are kind of like moons. So I'm going to just start off by just creating myself a really basic polygon shape and then just kind of going in and creating just a basic moon. I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but it will in a second. So right now I'm just kind of following her geometry and this will be actually inside her helmet and then I'm going to extrude. So let me grab these and just kind of scoot them over. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab these edges. Let 
and then bring these down a little bit because we want to make sure we make a uh, kind of like a crescent. All right, something like this. Let's get out of quadra. We now have a piece of geometry that we can start with. I'm going to go ahead and bring this out by pressing W. Don't forget to center that pivot and just kind of bring it out a little bit. Uh, let's turn off live. All right, let's go ahead and start extruding. Let's isolate select here. There it is. And let's grab some faces. Control E. Bring it out. And press W so you can lift. Now this is going to start arcing towards us, so we'll go ahead and um, rotate. And just looking at the design here, I obviously didn't make it large enough, so let me just go ahead and just kind of grab these vertices. Make them pretty large because she's got ginormous ears. And then we can make some adjustments. All right, that looks good. And I might rotate this more and bring this over here and just kind of shape it according to the geometry that we have here or according to the drawing. So again, we're just grabbing these vertices and just kind of shaping them a little bit. Let's grab that and maybe scale it and bring it down. It should be pretty thin. And then we can also grab this one and bring it down. All right, let's grab some faces again. And actually, I'm going to scale it a little bit and just kind of bring this up. All right, let's, oops, I'm going to grab these guys and bring them down. I might need more mesh, but that's okay. It's, we're just kind of getting the basic shape right now. Let's grab that. All right, let's try again with the extruding. Let's grab the faces. Control E, press W, move it aside. Gonna lift this up a little bit. My place sounds like it's catching on fire, but it's not, everything's fine. And let's shape the bottom again. You can press the number three and see how that's looking. And we're gonna grab the faces one more time. Control E, bring it out, lift up, and then we can go ahead and start tweaking it a little bit. So you can see that it kind of collapsed over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start nudging things up, grab this one too, and keep nudging. And let's go ahead and grab all of this and just kind of nudge again. I'm just using one graphic at this time. And let's grab these guys and just kind of lift again. Oops, the last one. Oop, oop. All right. Let's grab a face and do a control uh, a B, which is soft select. I'm going to grab, I'm going to do a B middle mouse and drag, which is another soft select. And then I'm going to scoot these forward. So it's not going to be exactly right, but it is going to give me the shape of the ear. Again, the drawing, it's going to be slightly off. All right. That looks good. Let's go ahead and just nudge a little bit here and we can see what that looks like. Let's press the number three and then get rid of isolate select. So now we have a cute pair of kitty cat ears. All right, let's grab these guys and make sure they're actually in the head. And let's go ahead and grab them again and just kind of scoot them back. <laughs> She's so cute. The ears really make make the character, don't they? Um, all right, let's make some adjustments to the ear because um, I'm not a big fan of having a hole here. Um, so let's do isolate select. And what I'm going to do is select these. 
I actually don't need them, so I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to bridge across the way. So hopefully everything's going to work out. We'll see. Select that, click on the other edge, and then click on bridge. So you can click right here for bridge. Then select these two and click on the letter G. And then just go ahead and go across. All right, cool. Uh, let's make some adjustments. And let's see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and get out of Isolate Select. All right, looks good. I still have a little bit of a hole there, so let me grab some. I might have to go in here. Well, actually, let me just go to Wireframe. Shading X-Ray and grab these. Shading, get out of X-Ray. I wish there was a shortcut for that. And kind of scoot these. Okay, that one got there. Let's do Shading X-Ray again these up here and maybe this one too and just kind of bring this out there you go okay getting closer this one maybe needs a little more and I think that might be it I just want to make sure yeah all right cool I'm gonna move this one forward no one's gonna see it to be fair no one's gonna see that press three just want to make sure everything's good. I might need to grab this vertices here and just push it back so it's not intersecting with the with her headband. And let me make the back of the head a little bit more pretty. Maybe a little quadra, magical quadra. Whoa. Hold on shift just to help smooth out the mesh a little bit. Press the number three and let's take a look at it all together. Well, there she is. I'll give her a little bit of a spike if you guys want to, you can always fix that. Again, that's all just part of the geometry. So if you want to, you can just kind of grab it and nudge it, but I kind of feel like it gives a little personality to her. So if you want to, you can just kind of nudge these and just kind of make it a little bit more rounded, but you know, it's up to you and how you want it. So there you go. That's how you model the ears. All right, everybody, that is how you model the headband and the cute little kitty cat ears. I hope you don't mind I say that catch up. Um, really adds personality to her character. All right, so in the next video tutorial, we are going to be covering her hair. So hopefully you guys learned a little something here and there. If you like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like these videos and that you want to see more. And if you feel that there's somebody out there that would like to learn how to do headbands and kitty cat ears, then please share this video too. That would be amazing. Um, I would, if you guys are following along or creating something similar, then I would love to see it. Please tag me in your social media. I am in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. So please tag me. I would love to see your work. It's it's wonderful to see artists grow, especially if I'm part of that. When you get a chance, please take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you will find free 3D models, trainings, and so much more. And you can also find my e-courses if you want another way of supporting me. And I would greatly appreciate it if you guys take a look at my e-courses. There you can see more training on Maya, including modeling, UV mapping, and texturing. So I'd appreciate it if you guys take a look and if you have the opportunity to purchase an e-course or two. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to finish her up and then UV map her and texture her. So there's a lot more to cover. And But next is going to be her hair. Again, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.